Good evening. How you doing? Good evening, Good evening. teacher. Hey, hello, Daniel. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? I'm great. So, all right, that's fantastic. So it seems as if we're going to have a great time together. Hello, Evelyn. It is. Hello, Ruth, Carla, Hello. Elena, Angel, Christina, Elizabeth, Rafael. And I think we have, well, people are still getting into the, into the class, right? So that's quite good. Now let's give them a couple of minutes because as far as I as I remember, you are about how many are you? Do you know? No, you don't know about. Let me see. You are. You are 20, 24 people. Okay, twenty four. Okay, so meanwhile, the rest of the people gather, uh, we're going to start talking a little bit, okay? I have 12 people I'm still waiting for. Now, you know, right? English over here are full, full, I mean, classes over here or the course over here is based on um, full English, right? So you're accustomed to listening to people speaking English all the time. Is that right? Yeah, okay, teacher. Teacher, right. teacher yeah. buenas noches. Pero si en algún momento no comprendemos algo, si ¿sí podemos hablar español. Mm, no. <laughs> oh my God. No, I mean. Okay. No, you I'm know, a, it, it's. We try it, to understand because so many words that is difficult for understand, but. We make the four for understand. Pretty good. That's what I want you to do, Daniel and Christina. That's what I want you to do. Now today we're gonna talk. We're gonna, we're gonna talk a little in Spanish because I want to have everything as clear as possible so that the course can like uh, move on um, in the right way. And the most important thing over here is that you learn. Okay. There is no other objective. The objective for me to be over here is to teach the best I can. And your objective is to learn English the best, the best you can, right? So, and we only have a one hour, and you know, in one hour is, is you know, um, practicing English during one hour is not enough. You're going to, you're going to notice it, okay? Because English should be from Monday through Friday and at least two hours, right? But that was, that's really good. I'm really good. I'm really good to see you here. And, you know, I will introduce myself in a couple of minutes, but I, I'm still waiting for the rest of the people. I have 14. And as far as I remember, you are 24. Now, it's eight o'clock and congratulations because you you got into the, into the meeting on time. I will really appreciate you, you continuously do so. Okay, because when you come early, when you get into the class early, you have more opportunities to, um, to, to practice more English. Okay, so welcome to um, intermediate English number one, right? So that means that you have been studying English, basic one, basic two, basic three, et cetera, right? Pre-intermediate pre one, pre-intermediate two, and now you got into the intermediate level. So that means that the more you advance, the less Spanish you are going to be supposed to listen to, right? Well, let me see. I, I think I will start. Uh, well, I, I think I will start by doing something here just because I, I need everybody to gather. Uh, Daniel. Hey, hey. Hello, Daniel, everyone. Da Daniel and his pet. Hey, Daniel, what can <laughs> you tell me about you? Who's Daniel? Who's Daniel? <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Who's Daniel? Okay, Daniel is a person that so can find a new opportunity with uh, English language. Uh, recently, I work in the government 
the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock. Fantastic. And, and I like to, to talk with other colleagues. And I enjoy discovering a new courses and I and I like um, to to know about the other countries too. Perfect. Enough. Very good. Now I will ask one by one. You are going to spend only one minute, no more than last, right? Like 30 seconds would be all right. 30 seconds or one minute would be all right. Evelyn, who's Evelyn? Who's Evelyn Susana? Hello, Evelyn. What can you tell us Hello. about you? Perdón. Go, Evelyn. Go, go, go. Go, Evelyn. What, what can you tell us about you? Who is Evelyn, Susana? No, no idea? You, you can say, I'm sorry, teacher. We participate later, okay? If you don't feel that, that I mean, if you don't feel that um, ready, ready to participate, you can tell me, I'm sorry, teacher, I will participate later. Who is Christina? What can you tell me about about you, Christina? Hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, I am a very smart girl. I love speak English, but I can't because- But you are doing it now. <laughs> and I tried. Um, I, I, I am 37 years old, I'm psychologist, and I am happy. I'm happy for begin, right. see, uh, the other- uh, Level of English. Level of English. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> nice okay. to meet you. Who's Carla Selena? What can you tell, what can you tell us about you, Carlita? Carla, sorry. Who's Carla? Hi. Okay. Uh, Carla is an outgoing person. Good to know. And um, shy. Sometimes Carla is shy. So uh, I like to listen to music and sometimes I read a, a book and watching the some series or movie. Good, good. All right, that's fantastic. What about Ruth? What can you tell us about you, Ruth? I saw Ruth over here. Good evening. Hello, good evening. My name is Ruth Elizabeth and Ruth is a friendly person. Um, who takes uh, takes care for her children? Uh, I have two children. Um, I enjoy uh, the um, with them with with them. Um, I'm journalist, but actually I don't work. I stay home with my children. Uh, I love read and watch TV at night. All right, but <laughs> not tonight, right? But not tonight, because we are going to have to right? <laughs> it's later, later. Later, okay. Who's Brandy? Hello, Brandy. What can you tell us about you? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Well, my name is Brandy Kolchek. Um, 39 years old and I have a small store, you know, like small store who sell beans and rice and snack. Um, and on the weekend, sometimes if the, the people who need my, my job, I go and I be a referee box for box. Yeah, and I practice sometimes, so I hurt me myself too. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that's very good. Box. That's quite yeah. good. That, you know, never give up, and then you're going to get it. 
Thank no, you. No, I, I practiced before, but uh, sometimes when you feel stressful. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Very really good. You know, English help help people in different ways, and, and we have a psychologist over here, and she knows that English um, uh, help us to release stress when we feel angry, sad, or whatever. And if you start uh, practicing English, so you see everything is like well, you get you you get into the paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know everything helpful when you're stressful. Really, right. if you love, because in my case, I love speak English. Thank I you. I can because you have to practice every day for the pronunciation. And like before, I say avocado, and now I know that is uh, the right pronunciation is avocado. All so, right, very good. <laughs> but it's part of the. the it's part process. of the process. All right. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Brendan. Okay. Rafael, who's Rafael? Rafael is very concentrated tonight. Oh, Rafael. Hello, Rafael. Hey, it would be really nice if you let us know the way you want to be addressed. In my case, you know, hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Rafael. Um, I'm very thrilling. I have, I have to follow you. 14, five years old. Um, my wife is Catherine. I love you, I family. That's okay. it, all right, very good, Rafa, Rafael. It would be really nice if you let us know the way you want to be addressed, right? In the case for Daniel, maybe, I don't know if you want to be called like uh, Danny or Daniel. So you will let us know later. You will let us know later. Hello, Gladys. Who's Gladys? Hello, everyone. I'm Gladys, but I like that people call me Maddie. All right. And, <laughs> um, I was employee around three years ago, but now I'm a beauty consultant for Mary Kay Cosmetics. And I'm very happy to um, attend English classes again, because uh, in this country, we, we don't speak English. So uh, we used to forget how to use uh, verbs it's, uh, and uh, something like that. Exactly. So, we I'm expecting to learn a lot here with you. It's my first time to taking classes um, online. So I'm very, uh, I feel something, some kind of strength, but <laughs> Excited. I, hope I will be adapted. Yes. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. You know, everybody is allowed to, com to commit mistakes. Okay, so that's a fair rule over here. No one is like an American uh, person, right? And no one was born in the United States, so that means that we're allowed to speak. I mean, to commit mistakes. Who's Maria del Carmen? Let us know about her. Me. Yeah. What's your name, teacher? Good evening. My name is Maria del Carmen Cepeda de Mendoza. I am 20, no, 42 years old. And uh, can you hear me? Sure. Okay. And um, I work in a factory. We make um surgeon surgeon uniforms. All right. Um, and I like to practice English. <laughs> I one. like to to hear music, English music, Good. every day. <laughs> hey, one of these evenings, you're gonna sing a song for everyone, for everyone, all right? Yeah. Think about it, because <laughs> at the end, at the end of the course, you're gonna sing a song for everyone. Okay, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, who's Elizabeth? Let us know about Elizabeth. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my complete name is Janira Elizabeth Monge Escobar. Okay. Uh, I like 
uh, the people say me Lixi. 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 All right, we're gonna yeah. try to remember, okay? Because I, I don't promise, but I will try. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a uh, joints, um, a few letters. Um, I am a single mother. All right. I have two girls, children, and no, children, no, adult, my daughters. Um, I study uh, theology. I right. love, yes. Um, I live in Ilopango. In my purpose is to uh, improve my English and because I difficult to listen with people I call me and uh, tell me. Uh, uh, you deactivated your your microphone, Elizabeth. We don't listen to you. Ah. Uh, now yes. Ah, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Sorry, sorry. No problem. But that was fantastic. Thanks, Elizabeth. That was really good to know that you have two two ladies, right? They are your daughters. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Who's Jessica Castro? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Jessica, Jessica is the woman that works in a family business with her husband. And she has two kids. Both are boys. And together they are like a bomb. <laughs> I live in, in Santa Tecla and I like to go to the Cafe Talon to ride bicycles. Good. Excellent. That's it. That's it. Fantastic. That's it. Angel, what can you tell us about you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Angel Alejandro Galdames. I'm 19 years old and I am a medical student. In my free times, I work in a bakery and I like to learn a new things. New things. Fantastic. Congrats. Okay, now we have uh, Ana Yancy, right? Teacher, fíjese que yo me acabo de con... Hola, hola. Yo me acabo de conectar, teacher. Okay, Ana. Okay, very good. Jessica. Who's Jessica? Don't worry, Ana. You are going to participate later, okay? I want you to be ready, okay? Okay. Okay, we have Jessica. We have Evelyn, Iris, right? No, I don't know. Let's see, let us try one by one. Jessica, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, all right, so but Jessica is, was, was the last one, right? Who introduced yes. herself. Anna Jansi, yes. thank you, Jessica. Anna Jansi. Hola, teacher. Hello, teacher. who's Anna Jansi? What can you tell us? Oh, so sorry, 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 sorry. Uh -huh. Evelyn Susana. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Who's Evelyn Susana? Yes. Let us know about so, you. Uh, my name is Susana Sahed. I live in Lourdes, Cologne. Work in the cosmetic. Uh, I like uh, the plants in... and that's it right that was enough Evelyn thank you okay okay who's Iris Concepcion good night hello Iris good evening nice to meet you nice my name my name is Iris Concepcion Bernabe Perez. I have uh, 26 years old. I live in Nehapa. In Nehapa. Um, I am a student in Universidad del Salvador. Good. Uh, I love read. Thank you. love to read. Good. That was really nice. Hey, who's missing? Let me see. Uh, Elena is missing, right? So if Elena is not ready. 
I'm ready. Ah, okay, very good. Hello. Let us know about you. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, hello. My name is. Hello. Can you hear me? Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, my name is Elena Choro. I'm 24 years old. Um, I have a title of industrial engineer. I love pets, absolutely, and I love cook. So I study English again for become um, maybe a bilingual people and a people person also. And I'm so thankful for this opportunity to uh, increase my level of English. Okay. Very good, thank you. Uh, what about Fernando? Who's Fernando? Hello, Fernando. Hello, can you hear me? We can listen to you perfectly. Okay, I am Fernando Contreras. You can uh, say me fair or Fernando. I like. Uh, rivers and beaches. I like uh, the beaches El Salvador from, uh, for example, La Barra de Santiago, Acajutla, I like a lot of. A lot of tourist uh, places. Wow, El Salvador is, yes. is the most uh, beautiful country worldwide, I think, right? Now, I think we do agree on that. Thank you for Ana Ivania, who, who's Ana Ivania? And we're almost done, people. Don't worry, because we're going to start. Uh, good night. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Ivania de Gonzalez. Um, I have, um, I have uh, 48 years old. Um, I work in a bank um, I have a, a song, uh, a boy. And I like, I like read books and, uh, and uh, play with my dog. You like to play with your pet, good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, you, uh, can you uh, call me uh, Anna? Anna will be okay. all right. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And I think we're still missing one person. That is Diana Stephanie. Hello, Hello Diana. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. And my name is Diana Stephanie. Um, I am 18 years old and I am, a I am a student of the University of El Salvador. Okay. Is there any, thank you, Diana. Thank you very much. Is there anybody that's missing? Is there anybody missing with his or her presentation? I mean, introduction. Uh, if not, well, we're going to continue. Okay. Uh, tell me. Teacher. Hello. I'm. I miss. I need to tell you about um, where I live. I live in Santa Ana, and I have two children. I have two children. My my son is twenty one years old, and my daughter is fifteen years old. Wow! You have teenagers at home. That's quite yes. good. A lot of energy, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, is it? Uh, let me see. Uh, Vicente wants to participate. Hello, Vicente. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I was in a wrong place because I taped the wrong ID. Sorry. No, I'm, and I'm sorry. I, I was for uh, about 15 minutes waiting in, in, in the other. And sorry, teacher. I'm no, late. there's not a problem. You know, this is the first the first class, and you know, 
a lot of things may happen, okay? A lot of situations. Okay. Now, uh, Thank you, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Now, now, listen, do you want me to speak Spanish so that I can introduce myself? I will do it in okay. English first. I will do it in English first. And then, well, uh, I, I will, I will, I will, you know, a little about me, right? Okay. Okay. Are you able to see the presentation? Yes, uh, I yes. see. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. That's fantastic. Now, well, as you can see, my name is Enrique Ernesto Morales. Okay. And I, uh, you know, I have been uh, teaching uh, English for more than 12 years, right? But formally, sorry, I have I have taught English during 12, 12 years. I know okay, a little of French. Okay. And nice to now, meet you, teacher. Nice meeting you. And from now on, I will be your, your English teacher, okay? okay? I will ask you to be like, to feel like very comfortable in the class because if you feel comfortable, you are going to be able to, uh, to provide cl clearer ideas, okay? You're going to feel um, at ease to, to participate. And that is something that I always look for with my students. There is a WhatsApp group. Now I think everybody's in the group, right? Over there, um, you are going to get in informed about some uh, information that the, the people from uh, Inglés Corporativo will uh, share with you over there. And also I can uh, share some links so that you can practice English, not only at, at I mean, in the evening, but also during the day. There are uh, certain evaluations, right? In, in homework activities. As you can read, uh, there is necessary for you to get an 80% of the all of, of the, the homework assignments and evaluations in order for you to complete the course satisfactory. The homework assignments are in a platform, right? And it is recommendable for you to work on those activities just after each class. If you are not able to do so, well, you can do it in the, the following day, right? And this is very important for me. You can just uh, advance at your rhythm. Okay, so so do not um, don't wait to tell you that what activities to do or what activities not to do. I mean, you are free to do so, and it is very uh, and it is better if you just uh, can move on by, by your own, by doing different activities. All the homeworks and topics uh, will be completed before um, every Friday at midnight. Okay? Because, you know, uh, people from English Corporativo need to send uh, um, something to Insofor. Um, we have some material that will be uh, shared I mean, this is this is a material that I can share with you. If I consider that you need it, then I will share it, but through WhatsApp. Uh, as you know, there are four weeks that we're going to be together. In the first week, we need to cover like section one and section two. Uh, week number two, we're going to have, um, uh, we're going to be working on section three, and then we're going to have the midterm. In the midterm, you know, you do it by your own, right? And we discuss it during the class. During the, the week number three, we're going to work in the section number four. And in the last week, we're going to work over the section number four. And you're going to uh, finish by completing the final examination. Now, there are some uh, class agreements, okay? Such as if you're not participating, do me the favor too, to keep silent. I mean, in and and the bottom, keep it in a silent silent mood. I will check the list attendance every single night. Um, please do me the favor to type your complete name in in Zoom. And the camera, I want you to to have the camera on. Activate your camera, and and this is very important, you know. Active participation. 
It is not only the teacher that's going to be talking over and over again and repeat this and repeat that. No, I need active people in the class. You know, no matter if you commit mistakes, I mean, you are here to commit mistakes and to learn and to overcome those mistakes. Uh, you can use the chat, okay, uh, while uh, being in a class. Uh, the, you, you, if you want to participate, you can raise your hand. And uh, this is another, another important part for me. Uh, I want everybody to respect each other, okay? Respect me as your, your teacher and respect among yourself, okay? Because everybody over here is fighting for getting a better level of English. Now, important. Uh, list attendance, uh, well, we need an 80% of all the classes, okay, quite important. Uh, this, this, I told you this in advance, you know, you can work in the platform whenever you want, okay, during the class, after the class, previously getting into the class, you are able to do so. Today is the first class, okay, you know about the, the dates and the hour, right, that have been established. I think this coming Friday, we are going to gather, okay? This coming Friday, but normally the classes are from Monday through Thursday. But this, this I, I don't know, I will check if this week and the next, we're gonna gather during Friday. Oh, 60 Friday. Minutes, yeah, 60 minutes Friday. is the session. Uh, please keep connected 60 minutes, all right? On time. Yeah, and gather, get into the class on time. Extremely important. And I will let you know why in a couple of minutes. I will tell you in Spanish. Uh, so this is redundantly is telling the same as working in the platform uh, in order for you to get your diploma. Okay. Now we're gonna have listening activities, speaking activities, reading activities, and writing activities. As uh, as every single English course. We are going to work uh, individually. We're gonna work in person. We're gonna work in um, groups. Welcome to your English course. And that is me. Okay, now I will, I will, I will uh, switch into Spanish, okay? Because I want um, everything to be as clearly as possible. Uh, me voy a pasar al español. Un ratito, porque quiero que, siendo esta nuestra primera sesión, quiero que todo quede claro, ¿ok? Quiero que todo quede claro cómo vamos a estar trabajando. Y este, si queremos ver avances significativos, tenemos que esforzarnos, ¿ok? Como todo. Todo lo que cuesta es porque vale la pena, ¿verdad? Yo Después. creo que todo, todo lo que, todo esfuerzo vale la pena, ¿ok? Inglés, por ahí alguien decía, es, lastimosamente no podemos practicarlo todo el día, vivimos en un país en donde no se habla inglés. Entonces, pero de alguna manera nosotros tenemos que estar conectados con el idioma. Yo les decía, eh, les decía que para aprender inglés necesitan, y necesito yo porque todavía soy un estudiante, Aprender todos los días, de lunes a domingo. Por supuesto, las sesiones acá son de lunes a jueves. Hoy vamos a tener sesión el día, este, esta semana Bien. y la próxima semana, según, según recuerdo. Uh -huh. Pero eh, normalmente las reuniones son de lunes a jueves, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a avanzar mucho en, en esas sesiones. Vamos a, ¿Nuestro inglés va a crecer muchísimo? Bueno. Va a depender más de ustedes que de mí, porque yo voy a tratar de hacer lo mejor en mi clase, pero ustedes van a tener, me imagino todos trabajan, ok, pero ustedes van a tener este, como la decisión de, de estudiar inglés en un momento que ustedes consideren adecuado. Pero no es que ya se terminó la hora de inglés y bueno, vámonos que yo ya... Ya, ya, ya casi soy bilingüe con la hora que nos va a dar el teacher. No, ¿verdad? Eso no funciona así. Entonces, les animo, les animo a que 
de su parte, también hagan un esfuerzo, que se sientan libres, ¿verdad? De elegir qué es lo que van a aprender. En la plataforma, por ejemplo, decía la presentación, ustedes son libres de avanzar cuanto, cuanto ustedes quieran. Eh, ¿Cuál es el objetivo? Que cuando entren a la sesión, ya ustedes ya tienen, ya tienen la idea, si no es que ya se lo aprendieron muy bien. Y lo único que van a entrar a hacer a la sesión es practicar. Por supuesto, yo voy a, voy a, voy a dar lo mejor, voy a explicar, etcétera, voy a proveer algunas actividades, pero si ustedes ya um, vienen con conocimientos previos, se nos va a ser mucho más fácil. Brandy. Yeah, I want to know if you can go to the platform and show us how to use because uh, I want to be sure if I'm doing something good or no. Oh, ok. So, eh, claro que sí. Ya vamos a ir ahí a la plataforma y ya van a ver ahí cómo vamos a practicar y vamos a corregir si hay que corregir algo. Ok. Eh, bueno, yo creería que con eso es suficiente. Ah, algo sumamente importante. Por ahí decía el respeto. Siempre respétense unos con otros. En lugar de... Lo que me gusta acá es que, que todos somos adultos, ¿verdad? Y en lugar de... Así como algunos teenagers se hacen... Se hacen burla o se, se mofan. Pues eso, por supuesto, aquí no va a suceder. Sino que todo lo contrario. Nos vamos a ayudar unos con otros. ¿Verdad? Bueno, eh, we are learning. There's Everybody no is learning. To the... There's no chance to the bullying here. Yeah, there's no chance. <laughs> That's my brain. <laughs> ok. Ok, entonces, con derecho a equivocarse. Siéntanse no, cómodos. Sir. Eso les decía yo, siéntanse cómodos en mi clase. Porque si ustedes se sienten, tal vez quizás no es la palabra como si no este, a gusto en la clase. Ok. Porque eso nos va a ayudar a todos. De acuerdo. Ok, thank you very much, teacher. All right. Eh, con la asistencia, eh, les, les voy a pedir que sean puntuales. Eh, al finalizar, me voy a tomar unos cinco minutos para pasar la lista, por favor. Eh, eh, me hablan, ok, I'm here. Si ustedes están acá para yo, para yo chequear la lista, que todo esté bien, ok. Ok. Okay, let me see. I have some. What's your name, teacher? Okay. Hey, thank you, Brandy. You know, my name is Enrique Ernesto Morales. Hey, everybody calls me Kike, teacher Kike. Okay, so okay, there's Kike. there's there's no any problem. Okay, so very good. Now let's get down to business. We're gonna try to advance. Okay, and let me see. I will share something with you, and then we're gonna go over the platform. Just give me one second, please. Okay. I think this is the one. All right. Now this is a platform, right? Can you see it? Yes. Yes. We see. Yes, oh, sure. All yes. right. So as you can see over here, there is an objective. You know, we're going to see an, an objective, then we're going to see a video, then we're going to see a, a, a the knowledge check, then we're going Please. to have a lesson objective, then we're going to have uh, another video, and then we're going to have knowledge check. And you know, the platform moves this way. Okay, so it's like mm -hmm. like it's like the same process but continuously. Okay. So for example, over here we have lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular uh, verbs. Example, I was born in, sorry. I was born in, in Korea. I grew up Korea. in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer uh, questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know about people. All right. So, well, we're going to start working on it. We're going to see a video about the simple past. But before getting into this video, I I know that you studied about simple past in, in the previous courses, right? So you know about positive statements, you know about negative statements, you know about 
um, interrupt statements, double edge uh, question words with simple paths, etc. Well, and you know, we're going to see this video. Give me one second, please. <laughs> I don't know, but Zoom is, is having some problems tonight. Well, we're going to try. Let me know if you are able to listen to it, OK? Take okay. notes. You, you, may, you can have a, a notebook, a pencil, a pen. Everything you consider is important for you to have it in the class, take it, OK? Here we go. Oh, expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, is slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't. okay, And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb 
and the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject, and this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did, and then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same. Okay, uh, I wonder if there's in, any question, Brandy and Daniel. Can you listen no, to no. me? No question? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I just taking a note. Thank ah, you. Ah, all right. Okay. Same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH word, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There you go. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did or no, I did. And that's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused, and so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Okay, and actually, I think that was everything related to this uh, video, right? So we're going to get back a little bit. Following questions, as you can see, sometimes I will use did. Okay, and we have some questions there. Now, I don't know if you have if you have doubts about this grammar. I could see Brandy and also Daniel. I don't know if you have questions. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Okay, what is the reason or what is the exactly the reason to use did and was or did? What is the function? You know, the, you know, the verb be is uh, with the verb be, you're not going to use any auxiliary, right? So that is one of the differences. Because over here, you know, you, you use the verb directly in the past. You know, okay. the past of the verb be is was and where. But what about if we go with the verb move? Ah, 
since move goes with 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 ed and dn okay so right. that's why we need an auxiliary over here the auxiliary mm -hmm. did tell us that the, the the question is in the past that is that is the objective did means uh, nothing but uh, it provides the sense of a, a, a sentence um, about simple past okay this is the make a, a difference in this kind of the, um, the questions. Exactly. And you know, it's maybe at the beginning it may be confusing, but when you use it, or when you put it in practice, you will you will find it quite normally. Elena. I can see Elena has yes. tell me Elena. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Actually, yeah. I have the platform in the last course that I received, but I don't find the new course. And you, you can, yeah. uh -huh, I can find it. What? It, what is, <laughs> what it calls? That is, let me see. I will let you know. There is an intermediate one. I want intermediate one. But when I put on the third board, uh, it shows that a lot of more than 100, more than 800. But what exactly is the one that we are so? The one that we are in now is the following. Let me see. I will, I will. I will I will show or you. Or you can compare, you can share the link. Sure. Sure, I will do so. Okay, check it. And if you still have problems, let me know about it. Okay, guys. So, you know, we're gonna start, we're gonna see grammar. Brandy, do you have any question, Brandy? No? Uh, uh, all right. Now, listen, uh, we're gonna see like the grammar structures in a very fast way because what really matters to me is that you put it into practice, right? So we only have 10 minutes and, and for tonight, I, I try to introduce simple past tense. Don't think that we are done with, with it. We are we just started thinking about how to how to provide or how to create sentences, statements, um, with simple past tense. Okay. For tomorrow, para mañana, no van a hablar de una pequeña biografía. Ustedes van a elegir quién, de quién. Okay. Para que se den cuenta de que pues lo que vamos a ir haciendo acá es poner Mucho énfasis en la práctica y también en las actividades de, de la plataforma. Miren, necesito pasar el listado. Ok. Ok, ayúdenme con eso, por favor. Eh, se nos hace el llamado a que les recordemos que la, la cámara debe de, de estar activada. Si en caso tienen alguna dificultad, pues háganoslo saber. Acá estamos. Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Ana Yancy. Present teacher. Ángel. Present teacher. Brendy. I'm here. <laughs> Cecilia. Ce Cecilia Yamilet. Can you see Cecilia in the group, people? No, Cecilia is not in the class. Well, Brent is in the class, no. Cecilia is not in the class, right? Uh, les quiero comentar que este, cuando ustedes ingresan a la sesión, eh, hay un tiempo que se les está 
eh, se está registrando. Entonces, si usted entra 20 uh -huh. minutos a la sesión, esos 20 minutos quedan registrados. Si usted entra a los 60 minutos, pues los 60. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Daniel Alejandro. Present teacher. Diana Stephanie. Present. Eh, Elena Noemí. Present teacher. Evelyn Susana. Ahí soy Evelyn Susana en la clase. Evelyn Susana. Evelyn Susana. Estaba en la clase, ¿verdad? Ahí está, teacher. Ah, bueno, ayúdenme, por favor. Eh, Fernando. Evelyn. Evelyn. Present, teacher. Present. Okay, fair, over here, right? Gladys and Mavi. Presente, present. Good. Iris Concepción. Present, teacher. Jessica. Alejandra. Present, teacher. Carla Selena. Present, teacher. Kevin Alexander. Present, teacher. María del Carmen. Present, teacher. Oscar Alejandro Pacheco. Oscar Pacheco, no lo visualizamos. Rafael Cruz. Rafael. Rafael Cruz. No. Rafael Cruz. Rafael Ernesto. Tampoco está Rafael Ernesto. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Sandra Noemí. Sandra Noemí. Vicente Israel. Here, teacher. And Janira Elizabeth. I am here. Excellent. Very good. Now we are done with it. Ya estamos listos. ¿Cuál es la tarea para mañana? Jovencitos. The platform. Platform, activities, and also? Activities. A little biography. A biography. A biography. A hey, biography. I, will, I will ask only five people to share it. Por, el, por cuestión de tiempo, solo voy a pedir cinco personas que nos lo compartan. Todos tienen que estar listos, pero yo voy a pedir cinco personas que nos compartan la información. ¿Ok? Teacher. Una Tell pregunta. Me. Tell me, Mary. Una, eh, ¿La biografía puede ser de un cantante o, o, de, o de quién? Sí, puede usted? ser de alguien que usted admira. Por supuesto, pues les voy a, les voy a pedir que no nos traigan, este, digamos así, personajes que no dan un buen ejemplo, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿verdad? Yo no, no sé si ustedes me comprenden, ¿verdad? No, no es el nombre. No, no, no voy a decir no, porque no, 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 no quiero herir sus, sus sentimientos. Okay. Así que, este, pues el día de mañana los espero. Hey, full English tomorrow, okay? So we started okay. in the right way tonight. Yes. Uh, now, okay. if you have Thank any question, no, no, just give me one second, because sure. we are still missing five minutes. Si tienen preguntas, sure. díganme. Sure, sure. Una pregunta. Digan. Eh, la, la biografía tiene que ser en pasado simple, por lo que acabamos de ver. Claro, oh, oh. claro. Okay. Este, eso les iba a decir que todas las tareas siempre va, van a ir enfocadas en, en el tema. En el tema. Actual. Okay. En el, en el tema que case. nosotros estamos estudiando, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, no sé si hay alguna, alguna otra duda. Dígame. Angel. Fíjese que no sé por qué, pero en la plataforma aún no aparezco inscrito a ningún curso. O sea, ya está mi cuenta activada y todo, pero aún no me carga el, el curso, no tengo acceso al material actualmente. Háganme un favor, este, si alguien tiene dificultad con respecto a lo que dice Ángel, porque por ahí parece que escuché a otra persona, escríbanlo en el grupo, porque hay técnicos, los compañeros técnicos son los expertos, 
de la plataforma. Nosotros la podemos visualizar, pero no podemos asignar este, digamos, material. Nosotros los docentes no asignamos, sino que lo hacen lo, nuestros compañeros allá en San Salvador. Escríbanlo en el grupo. Escriba que tiene alguna dificultad y les aseguro que les van a responder súper, súper rápido. Ok. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Hey, you, you did it tonight. Eh, eh, otra cosa, les voy a recomendar, si les gusta el café, tengan el café a la mano porque of los course. quiero despiertitos, ¿ok? We like a lot. <laughs> okay. No more like question. No, you don't? No. 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 Well, uh, that's water. <laughs> oh, water. Yeah. Some water would be really nice yeah. also. Uh, yeah. Water. Yeah. Yeah. With the coffee. Yeah. Hey, it's been a pleasure to see you tonight. Okay. Tomorrow. It, to... it was a pleasure, everyone. Good hey, night. To, tomorrow be ready because I mean, I will choose five people and those four. Ah, otra cosa que le voy a pedir. No se vale decir no. Cuando el teacher dice mm -hmm. que Daniel le toca la participación, no right. va a decir, no, sure. oh, teacher, no, no, no estoy <laughs> listo. Eso no, se, Daniel. eso no se vale. Ready, okay? Daniel. Cuando yo diga Angel, ya Vicente. Angel ya, ya sabe que la única respuesta que, que debe dar es si estoy listo. Of course. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, if somebody, say, if somebody say no, you have to Why? say no. Me va, me va. Oh hey, my. I will get disappointed. Me van a, me van a, no me voy a sentir bien, la verdad. No we're going to make we prepared. Uh, get ready. Por eso están my aquí, best. para que hagan su mejor esfuerzo. Of course, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Okay. God night bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, tomorrow. And classmates. Good night. See you. Nice to meet you to the new college.